Hey everyone, it's Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. Happy Thursday afternoon. We continue the arrival of new products this week with some great, uh, a great shipment from Memory Box and Poppy Stamps. A lot of things that are good for Valentine's Day, but also all year round. Most of these items are from their latest release. Most of them we have had in before, but we had sold out of a lot. Some of the things went very quickly, and then we sold out of a lot of things last weekend, so I put another order in, and it showed up today. We also have a couple of new things from the latest release that we did not have before, as well as uh, some favorites from previous releases. So let's jump right in and show you. First of all, we got back in the Drifting Heart Stencil. This one sold out pretty quickly. I love it with the different size hearts and kind of all going different ways. They really do look like they're uh, drifting down. Hey there, Jan and Jan. Um, also uh, new uh, that we did not have before is this butterfly die. It's called Dreamy Butterfly. It's really pretty. has some great detailing on the wings. I will show you a sample of that here pretty soon. Also got back in the Antique Heart label. They have had a number of these different label dies with different elements on them. This one happens to have the hearts on it. And there is also a stamp set, Big and Little Valentines, that is designed to work with all of the labels, but I can also use it on its own. There are the bigger words like there, be mine, but then there's smaller words forever and ever. So the large words can go inside the label and then the smaller words can go outside elsewhere on your card. This is one of uh, two heart sets that came out in this release. And this one is really nice. This is the double stitch loving heart. The hearts on this one are a little bit uh, shorter and fatter. The other one has taller and skinnier hearts, and we do have it in stock. And this cuts out just your plain hearts, but it's also nice because it does this row of double stitching around the outside. And so here is an example that you can see where they have cut it out of the front of their card, and you have that nice double stitching accent on it. And showing through there is an embossing folder, which we did get in. This is a three-dimensional embossing folder, but here you're only seeing part of it. Let me show you here in the package. You can see it has that uh, pretty leaf design there in the center of the heart, but there is a lot more to it. I can actually turn this over and you can see the back of it and you can see all that pretty design that's on there. And I think you can tell from the back side pretty easily that it really is a three-dimensional. You can see how some areas like these leaves right here or this little flower here are um, embossed deeper than some of the other things are. So that gives it a really nice look when you have the different levels of embossing. <coughs> Excuse me. There are a number of other dies that work great with this um, Loving Heart cutout, especially with the inside part that cuts out. One of them is this little sketch heart that has just this little outline. Um, you got it, Miss Jan. Um, and that fits over one of the hearts on here. This is another one that we had in and sold out almost right away before. It's the honeycomb part heart. I love that it has kind of that broken honeycomb around the outside. And again, if you want to put a solid heart behind that opening or in that opening, you can use one of the hearts from this one. This is another um, set that likewise works with it, although you don't have to use it with it. It is the Verdant Leaf Loving Heart. It has the heart outline and then this leaf outline in here. There is also a companion die, which is the Verdant Leaf, that those leaves actually do fit behind there if you want to do it, but they also can be used all on their own. And I want to show you even another way here we used it with this and we just offset it a little bit. So that is a really fun thing that you can do. So it makes both of those dies together really versatile. You also might see in the background this little kind of pinpoint heart pattern in the background. This was another um, die that sold out really, really quickly, the pinpoint leaf plate. You can see it's a large die and it does that pattern all over it. Here is another sample where they have used the Hugs Heart die, which we have um, to layer on top of that. This next one is a really interesting one. When you look at it on the package, you're like, that is weird and that makes no sense to me whatsoever. But look what happens when you cut that heart out twice and add that ribbon to it. It becomes a candy box. Isn't that amazing? That um, kind of 
or that that really is a three-dimensional candy box. Also, you might notice this pretty sentiment on here it comes from the Valentine Fun set. It has really fun font on it, and it definitely has some Valentine sentiments, but I like because it has some other sentiments on here that you can use all year round. This next one is one that we did not get in the first go-round, but I had several people, we had a sample card with it, and several people asked me about it, so I got some in. It is the Scribble Daisy Heart Frame, and you can see it has these sun daisies. It cuts out this square, and then it has the solid heart in the middle. And there are a couple of heart dies that you can uh, use with that if you want. It fits in there. This one is the love heart. It has the nice stitching and the word love and that cute little flower down there. And here you can see a sample where they've just popped that right over that heart in the middle. If you don't want love or maybe you want both of them, there is also the hugs die, which is similarly sized and also has a little flower down there. And of course you can see on here this adorable little hedgehog. That is one of the new Whittle um, dies that came out in this release, this adorable little hedgehog. Here is a, another one. You can see that fun sentiment that comes from uh, one of the sentiment sets that we have in, in with kind of those fun puns on here. Also another new Whittle is the Whittle Giraffe. This one is really, really cute when he is done up. Here is a sample um, of a card that we're going to be doing in a class coming up. That Love Die is also a Poppy Stamps die, and we do have that in stock. You get two dies with it, the um, letters, and then also the background with it. Another new Whittle critter is this little Whittle Panda. And when you see him made up, he is absolutely adorable. Here you can see he is made up. He is so, so cute. And look at that darling little envelope that he is in. That is the new stitched envelope die that makes that cute little envelope. Any of those little Whittle crit critters would look good in there. We also got in some, um, by special request, some of the previous Whittle um, critters. We got in the little koala. He's got such a sweet little face. And the little monkey. The sleepy fox. And also the tiger. And here are some samples of cards that we've done. There is one with that little monkey on there. And here is one that has the fox and the tiger and the koala on it. You could certainly use the panda or the hedgehog on any of these. You also notice the hello die is another one that is a two-piece die from Poppy Stamps, and we do have that in stock as well. I have just a couple samples to show you of things that I didn't have samples for. This one is that um, little sketch heart. You can see on there that pretty gold. They've done it with glitter paper and it has the pinpoint heart there in the background. There is that dreamy butterfly. That one is so pretty. You can see that pretty detailing on the wings, just a little bit of ink blending, and you have a really simply, simple but beautiful card. Here is the Drifting Heart Stencil. I love how they've done it where they have done an ink blended background and then they've come over and done kind of tone on tone with the stencil on top of that. Gives it a really interesting look. And finally, you can see here the honeycomb heart and how cute that is. All right, that is all that I have for you right now. I am expecting another shipment in this afternoon, so um, hopefully I'll be back and share that with you as well. In the meantime, have a great afternoon, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.